Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Our Lord Season 3, Episode 6. I'm Hells and joining me is Kerry. Hi. Alright, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? Skeleton warrior? Yeah, okay, most skeleton warriors aren't that fat because, you know, they're made of bones. There is a skeleton warrior. Oh, thumbs up, this is Desu Knight. There's a summon on that 6th level? Really? DK is like an entire class and wow. Man, this guy looks like Spam from Nejima. Yeah, because you didn't go Wololo. So maybe it'll turn white. Oh, your 13 heroes must be weak. That's one way of using undead. Farming. <laughs> Is he going to make the skeleton become zombie? No. I don't think skeleton can grow flesh to become zombies, so, you know. And this is like testing if me. What kind of our name was that? Will turn spot or not. What? For this remote tower. What kind of tower name is that? No idea. Who? Oh, you oh, know groups now. Is it Momon? Nah, I'm probably Ivy. Ah, the the Chuni from last season. Oh, uh, Blue Rose or something? What's me? Yeah, maybe we'll see. It's got a tuny name, I mean. You know, I was thinking about this uh, a few days ago, right? I was like, you know, there's like a lot of levels in Nazarek. And we've seen most of their generals, but we haven't actually seen like... How much force they can actually muster if everyone from the tomb leaves to like attack a kingdom or something. No, no. I, I, I guess they don't need to because like all the generals are super strong already anyway, but like... I want to see them subjugate with, like, just brute numbers. Also, this is a new arc, so... Are we gonna see Gilgamesh yet? Maybe. And maybe we'll see the adventurers, too. No, it's not them, then. Sometimes I wonder how hard is it to actually like walk around with super plated armor like that. I can't imagine it being comfortable or like flexible either. 
you definitely can't catch a thief while wearing that, right? Because you, no way you can out, uh, you can like catch them, like, be fast enough to catch them. Actually, in a game world, wearing armor makes you faster. What? Well, oftentimes. Depending on the armor, I mean, like, if you're wearing, like, elven boots, maybe it makes you fast, run faster, but... Surely wearing, like, 200 pounds of steel makes you, like, unable to run that fast. Great tomb of Nazareth Pit again! You know we can't use your face anymore, right? Because, well, not the face, but his silhouette, because we sort of saw it last time around this place. Nah, he can still use the silhouette for the same purpose. But there's a demon to threaten the fucking place. Yes. Ah, hey, Gilgamesh. And Stan, the magician. You know, I, I can already tell this empire is going to be the evil one because they're an empire with black armor and gold and red. You know also, what? this guy is not the bar guy, uh, the brother of the princess, right? No. I think his name is. Something, something bar, bar guy, bar main, or Hidden bar something. Oh, no, never mind. That's a, that's a name. That's Gilgamesh. We can call him Gilgamesh because that's easier. Who's <laughs> on that? How? Uh, Gild above is the mirror tree. Oh, whoa, well, it is Momon. I'm so confused. What? So darkness is really Momon. I mean, it makes sense. Buzzy wood. No, it's the lightning bolt. For once, I finally see like a proper female armor on like a proper female body. Hmm. It's like similar, right? The the female armor. It's not. Yep. It's not just a bikini, you know. <laughs> That's the well, overlords we put with that. Well, we've seen like female female armor before, but it wasn't on a female body. These people again. Ah, uh, the Juni group that had like someone with a bear of a body. So I still don't get if this guy is not a good person or a bad person. The princess is just psychotic. Yeah, that king went to the front line for some reason. Well, sort of to the front line. He was like, uh, people, you better do your fucking job or I'll be pissed. But yeah, he did, he did like sort of go to the front line. But I don't think he actually like fought anything. Ah, this is this, the bar guy. Oh, bar bro. <laughs> ah, that's a name. <laughs> I feel like Calm down, have, bro. I feel like we should get uh get their cho heads chopped off now. Well, your face doesn't look like a noble's face.
go back to the bar. I like how none of them answered about a bro. Yeah, I don't think the Guardians are getting any stronger. Because they have human limits, right? Uh, because I don't know if they can level up anymore. I think they need like a class change to a higher class or incarnate or something before they can get stronger. I mean, they're NPC. Yeah, well, the NPCs here are relatively like... A lie. Wait, you're retiring? What? You're young! He's got a giant massive beard, but I think he's that young. I'm guessing like 40 something. Hey, who's this? It's Dio! No, it's Ben Wagon. Speed Wagon. Maybe he's like an informant for the. Other empire. Oh, they are talking about Momon, right? Yeah. I think there's that many people with full plate black armor and two giant swords. Right. Yeah, this place looks close. Um. Look at that, it's like the NPC from a game. No, I mean, a customized character. It's got a colored hair, come on, it can't be like that, that low of an NPC. Maybe it's NPC that like alters the story a bit. No, not, not an NPC, maybe, maybe a main character. By the way, didn't we have like a uh, adventurer that did jack shit last arc? Yeah, I might think so. It's the it's the red haired chick from the village. I thought she was yeah. gonna do something, and then until the end she didn't. I was like, what the hell? What you brought well, her she's, up? She's joining the uh, the archery, so it's okay. Yeah, but she didn't do anything on her own. I thought she was going to be like, ah, because she used to be an, an adventurer, she'd be like a better archer or something. Except she didn't. <laughs> Wait, this purple haired here, no, this violet haired chick here is an elf, right? I assume so. So did they find the Tomb of Nazarek? Maybe. Or is it the false Tomb of Nazarek? Ooh. Which one is myself? I don't know. But their client is called Fennel, isn't it? Your name is Robertic, what? <laughs> well, there is a guy called Barbro. Sure. Katze, uh, that name sounds familiar. Katze Flames? I guess it's a better call than calling him Dick. <laughs> Dark Asha Dick uh, cuts okay, okay. Um, What's the elf name? Uh, Lumina? Imina, Imina.
So you're the cleric. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the fists of God. Mm. So you're gonna buy our sister off and then leave them to die? I mean, they probably do the same. Why do they call themselves worker, not adventurer or something? I think it's like she, they're doing dirty jobs, so they're taking like not not normal jobs from the guild or something. Oh. But can she see past six year magic? I don't think she's oh. seen sixth year magic I do. Uh, like in the very first fight we had in the first season, the enemy summoned like a giant angel. Right? I thought that yep. was like only like fourth level of magic or something. It was five or six. Yeah, but that already like uses a giant crystal to summon it. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they seem to think that was fucking invincible. So I don't think it's something you can see that often. So this guy is a paladin, right? What? Uh, Dick? Oh, Dick. Dick is a, anyway, he's a cleric. Holy crap! Yeah, she's an elf. 30 elf. Well, what we have a crap? rich family. Uh, are they like those people who super easily duped into buying fake things? How? Because nobles are people who are in favor of with the empire. So. I don't know, some people are like this even when they're not nobles. And I mean, it's so hard. It what? What do you mean, so hard? When she hugged her, she said, so hard. Is it like the clothing around that is hard or what? Yes, athlete hand. Drum sex, huh? Oh, look at that. That's the guy from Ghosts and Goblins. Arthur? I think Arthur's that fat, right? Green ham. Wow, his face looks like someone you need to punch the moment you meet him. Who is this for? Is that the captain of the real gun? Yeah. Who is area user? I, I think it's this guy. His name is Hennekin or something. 
How do you tell if people is elf or half elf? You know what this last one guy? Dragon Hunter. I like how his armor is very different from the rest of them. Everyone's wearing Western armor and he's wearing like Eastern armor. Nah, it's like the mix of... Celestial Warrior just now was also mixed. This guy. What the hell? So who was the guy? Oh. Oh, so Confano is Gilgamesh, right? No idea. Is this even from the right kingdom we're talking about? What the crap? What the waste? Oh. Oh. Wait, you gonna babysit these people? Actually, he's just there to guard the... Uh, uh, what? The camp. Yeah, exactly. Babysitting. Money. So I guess this is one way of seeing what the hell is going to happen if people try to go into the head, into the tomb of Nazareth. Yeah. It might even be the false tomb of Nazareth. So wanna bet how many levels they'll make? Through level through tomb of Nazareth, probably only one. I don't know about the false one. I don't think the or false one even has like the, more than one level. Probably until the wall guardian. Eh, not not wall guardian, the floor guardian. Hmm. Not for those, for Guardian. I think these or are. Like, Iran, I, mean. I think these are all about adamantite or like they're definitely higher than gold plate level. Yeah. So they yeah, shouldn't be, be that uh, weak. Could be higher than gold level, but lower than adamantite. Yeah. So about because they are still quite shocked when they see the adamantite warrior. I don't know. What They'll probably make it through the first floor, but I don't know. Thing here, man. Do you think they are guardians guarding the gate of Nazari? They should probably at least someone at the gates. Okay. Uh, my question would be like, one, will Momon tell them to, you know, go away? As in, like, just let them in and let them die inside, or like, I don't know. If I was the leader of a raid dungeon, and then there's a bunch of people coming in, I'd probably want to like see if they're worthy of being recruited or not. Same. It's usually okay, right? Worst case scenario, I let them all die and then raise them as undead to like guard the door for like a week or something. <laughs> the thing is, how how is this going to help them establish Nazarek as a nation? I don't know about that's the goal. I don't know about Nazarek as a nation. Um, I don't even know, like, who the hell started this quest, right? Someone paid for these people to do this quest. Who? Con Quenum. Is it Ains? Is it like oh, Momon okay. himself who did this? That's why 
they can recruit him as like the guard, uh, the bodyguard for the yeah. for the caravan. Also, why does in the start no one has to meet that old guy, Stan? I don't know what his name. I'm just gonna call him Stan. I'm not sure either. I'm just confused, like why we're having this shit while we're also progressing with the story of the two kingdoms. I thought we were gonna head to that one because that one would have been interesting. Uh that that stand, right, right, right. Uh... <laughs> oh uh, wait. Is it like they're talking to Stan as in to like make a rumor about the place? You know? That would make sense, right? So Momon talks about the place, the stand. So Gilgamesh's kingdom was like, oh shit, this shit looks like it's valuable. Let's let's go through this dungeon. Kind of thing. I mean that'd be interesting. But no, I don't I don't know how this will go like this makes us seen as a nation by other kingdoms. No, that that wouldn't. That would just make you like a hazard zone. <laughs> if you go here, you'll die. That doesn't sound like somewhere I wanna trade. If you wanna see like how to get your Isekai village into a nation, you go read like I get reincarnated as a slime. That one is like how you get your village. It started as a goblin village and then it became friggin' like a nation. Yeah, the main character is such a slime. I know, right? Anyway, let's let's go back to the main topic of this is now finished and we'll see you guys in the next week's episode. Bye.